hi everyone welcome back in my previous lesson I showed you how to build a simple DIY Arduino PLC in this part I will introduce you to ladder logics if you are new to ladder logics I bet you this is the right point to start from let's get started kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell this way you will always be notified whenever i upload new videos so in this up and coming arduino diy plc series we'll be making use of our newly developed arduino plc board and then open plc however if you don't have this board yet don't worry you can however follow this tutorial series using a simple arduino board and some few components okay so now let's look at some of the PLC programming language that we have. We have the ladder logic, we have functional block diagram, structured tests, sequential function charts, and then instruction list. Okay, great. Luckily, open PLC have almost all these languages that you can play along with. But in this tutorial, we'll be making use of the ladder logics. Okay, so basically ladder logic was originally designed to represent that of the construction and design of really ranks also point two programming in ladder logic is basically just like a, a ladder that you have the top rank all all moving down 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 to the bottom rank we have the vertical section of it and then we have the horizontal section of it too as well and then one good thing about ladder logic is that it's basically the widely used programming language in the industrial sector so knowing ladder logic will improve your ability to program most of the industrial devices easily okay so now we'll look quickly at some components of ladder logics so we have the four most important components the first being our power rail also known as the rank so basically we have the left rank and then right rank and whenever you want to program you need to choose this rank that you'll be linking to create your logics okay the next item is our normally open contacts which is represented just looks like a, a capacitor a normal capacitor symbol and then we have normally close contact also looks like a normal capacitor symbol but cross indicating that this is an inverted signal and then we have our final one which always represent the output devices or also known as coils it can be a contactor it can be a relay it can be a light bulb etc so basically these are the four most important components in ladder logics okay so now let's look at some do's and don'ts in ladder logics point number one all contacts should be at left so you need to connect all contacts at left all calls should be at right so calls are always located at the right point of your rank and then contacts are always located at the left point of your rank and then the final and most important point is that you cannot series an output the output calls cannot be series you can connect them parallel to each other but you cannot connect them in series it's never going to work that way great viewers this really brings us to the end of our introduction to ladder logics in our next lesson we will dive deep into it and then create few examples using this knowledge that we have acquired just now see you in the next tutorial bye bye